I started uni straight out of school and mainly because mum wanted me to and at that time in my head I was going to be a 300 game first grader and had the world at my feet and sort of did half a year of that, hated school and just studying, I was just sick of being looking at books and so I gave that away and then 2019 after I'd done my knee I was sitting at home just realising you know, next, next year is my last year of my contract, this footy might be over. There were times after games of footy when I'd come home and, and I wouldn't have played well and I wasn't happy with how I went and I'm sitting there going, I don't want to play next week, I don't want to go to training on Monday. If I don't go to training, I've got, I don't have a job. Like I've, got, I've got nothing, I've got no qualifications. I work in a kitchen for three hours after school once when I was at high school and then went straight into training full time. So I never had any real life qualifications or anything like that. So that was probably the, the main thing behind it was that sitting at home and realising that football's all I've got and sometimes football's not all I wanted. Uh, I'm at Griffith University um, and I'm studying a Bachelor of Criminology and Criminal Justice. It was a whole perspective thing of I've come this far and I'm not where I expected to be and, and one of the boys in, in the team, um, Brendan Elliott, was doing the same course and it's something that really interested me with my dad being a cop and I sort of watched all the crime shows and all that sort of stuff and um, terrorism and crime scene investigation and um, stuff that really interests me and at the start of the degree I, I got into a lot of that stuff and, and really enjoyed the sort of nitty gritty. Um, the niche side of things, which was which was cool, and it's just I just sort of fell into it through Gino at the at the club, and um, sort of put me in the right path. And, and the people at Griffith University and the elite athlete system they've got um, was made the process so simple. I, I in two days I was enrolled and learning how to write essays, and yeah, never looked back. And then obviously the, the money that the RLPA put into it, and um, more or less pay for our our enrolment and our university fees, which is obviously a massive. Um, step like it's I'm just getting in front by by doing that and that's probably the main that was one of the sort of deciding factors behind it was that if I can I can do it without having to leave university with a debt at the end of it then why wouldn't I I'm just really grateful for the sort of headspace that it's given me and I just like ticking things off and it's sort of given me that progression feel in my life that I felt like I was missing when I wasn't playing good footy and, and wasn't um, where I wanted to be there's times when I like getting home after training and sitting in my office and shutting my door and um, just sort of diving into that sort of stuff. And, and but there's, I'm going home most afternoons and if I finish it too, I'm probably doing two or three hours most afternoons. It's just one of those things now that the whole process has been sort of really enjoyable that I just want to finish and tick that box and say um, I'm happy that I did it and, and I enjoyed every bit of it. With the criminology not working out, the more I think about it, I, um, I've just finished my first year of exercise science through Charles Sturt University and that's sort of something that I really want to look into and probably one of the, the main things that I would say is it's fine to, to like something one day and then not the next day. And now I've sort of been comfortable with, it, with where I'm at um, uni-wise and I'd sort of like to progress to maybe physio in the next couple of years. And, um, if I'm not sick of study by then, it's I'm really enjoying that side of it, which has probably sort of helped me with the criminology stuff to, to get through it because I've only got so little left and then I can really dive into the rest of the stuff. If I was an 18 year old and I heard myself talking today, I, I wouldn't believe it. So it's, um, when I was young, I got, to, I got told so many times to go to uni and, and study and, and finish it all now while you can. And mum told me every day and I just, I hated it. I couldn't stand it. Um, and looking back on it now, if I, if I, st if I kept doing what I was doing then I would have been finished three or four years ago and I wouldn't have to be worrying about it now. So it's, um, it's one of those lessons you've got to learn yourself and uh, some learn it the hard way.